Hi everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to use the advanced search feature on the bidder list. So to get to that, you just hover your mouse over the bidders, and then click on list bidders. And then at the top of the page, next to where you, you get the report and you type in the full names, is the advanced search option here, in blue. Just go ahead and click on that, and that'll open up a new section where you can uh, refine your search. So starting off at the top, we have the auctions, and this will always be set to all the auctions on your website. But if you want to narrow that down, you can click on more auctions underneath. And then this will just show you some recent auctions that are on your website. You can either select all of them, or you can pick and choose whichever ones you want to add. And what this will do is it'll find the search to only include bidders within these auctions. I'm going to leave it on for uh, all of them for the moment. And then under that, you have a date range you can put in for when the bidder was registered on your website. So I'm going to pick a couple of months from the 1st of January until the 4th of April. And then just underneath that is the last logged in, which is again another date range you can put in. I'll just put in the same date range. So about four months, or three months I mean, pardon me. You can see these on the results here at the bottom. It says created and last activity. Those correspond to the registration date and the last login date. Now keep in mind that everything you put into the advanced search has to work together. So you, so for example, this account here, Killian Bid 3, it says that it was created on the 8th of January. So if I go ahead and move that to the 9th of January, it won't show any results because I use both the registered and the last logged in date range. You'll only get results that correspond to every single field that have been put in. So keep that in mind. And this works for everything else. And on the right hand side, you have very basic information, uh, including the first name, last name, the bidder's username, email address, company, their address, which you can also refine by city, state, and zip. And then back on the left hand side, we have blacklisted bidders, bidders allowed to bid without a credit card, and then bidders that don't have a credit card on their account, as well as their reseller certificates. So if you don't know any of these uh, bits, you can find them on the bidder account under the admin tab. I'll have another video breaking that down more specifically, but you can see here if the box is ticked for either the blacklisted or bid with no CC, you'll be able to find that out. Here's the reseller tab. If there's no certificate, um, they're not a reseller. And then of course, you can also check the payment details. And if they have a, a payment card, you'll be able to tell by looking at the bidder account. So that's it for this video. Just so yeah, that's it for this video. Just want to reiterate one more time that if you want to do a narrow search, put in more and more fields. But if you want to get a broad result with multiple bidders, you're better off not using as many fields. But other than that, thanks very much for watching.